was really interesting, Steve, because you know, we both have to work season to season. Obviously, with fish, fish is either here to be caught and we can't see it. So, but I'm really interested because I don't understand your business. And I just wonder, does local, does, does local vegetables take, that taste better? Do they make a difference to you? Because I would think they do. Yeah, absolutely. I think. The, the, to reduce the amount of miles on, on something, obviously the travelling time is better, um, so it hasn't been sitting around in a, in a warehouse anywhere, and that's the, the, the first thing you kind of think about, that this is, the, the actual miles on the food is better. Um, Taste-wise, the quicker it's out of the ground, the quicker the herbs have been picked, the quicker the strawberries have been picked, and you know, the I can get them, the better they are, and I think you can definitely tell the difference. I know that some tomatoes that we've had recently have just been the flavour has been fabulous and they've been local English tomatoes and you know what more could you want you know that's very interesting that's, I mean we are part of your your success story I mean the Ivor Rocks guests are privileged to to enjoy and taste the, the whole infrastructure and it, it must be quite complex for you to kind of I don't mean to take over your, your interview but I'm no, just no, interested totally. in, in, in how you as a chef deliver such wonderful food to your guests I think when I first joined the Ivor Rocks two years ago, the first thing that I looked at was all the supplies that I used and, and to try and work out who were the best people with the best amount of knowledge that I could tap in onto and, and pull the best thing from everyone that I've got. So I've got the best butcher, I've got the best fishman, I've got the best veg supplier. And with those in mind, I can then start formulating a menu. And that's when the sort of my, my creativity will, will come in. I know that if I phone you up and say, I need some John Dory for a particular dish that I'm developing, you'll say to me, don't buy it today buy it tomorrow because the price will be better, we've got more coming in. And the similar thing with vegetables, if I'm doing a meat dish and I want some, I don't know, Cornish kale or something like that, Darren will say to me, don't buy it today, buy it next week because they're just growing it and it's just going to be right about then. And it's liaising with you guys as closely as I can to get that relationship going to then, well, then helps me to formulate my menus. That must be something that uh, the diners that don't realise how much behind the scenes work goes into delivering your menu? No, I, I think that's one thing that sort of gets brushed under the table almost, so to speak, because people sit down and they see a fantastic plate of food in, in front of them, but they don't see the chef coming in in the morning, taking the delivery in and then working out exactly how he's going to formulate his menu and, and then going from, from what's in the fridge to then what's actually on the plate, because we will obviously write our menu every day. Um, and so you're looking at sort of five starters, five main courses and five desserts and that will be using both of your, your products to the best of our ability and, and, and working out from then formulating a really nice dish. Exciting journey. Yeah, yeah it's, quite, it's quite a trip, isn't it? <laughs> I, think, then, I think the other thing is that the, the, um, the chefs in Cornwall, um, so you're mm. included, there's a lot of good chefs move, moving to Cornwall, move to Cornwall or moving to Cornwall, mm. and Cornwall has sort of really started to get on the map Mm. as a food place, you know, because um, Very much so. Yeah, they, um, and I think some of the food down here now is probably as good as anywhere in the country. Well, I'm, I'm from the South East and I've worked in London and, and in, in, the, in those respects, you know, I've, I've worked sort of the bottom of the whole of the bottom of the country and this is the best place for all the seafood, all the meats and, and all the vegetables, it's all here, you know, and because of our, the, the close routes to London, we can get in and out of Covent Garden Market nicely, we can get in and out of the fish markets nicely if we need to. And, and so we are really lucky that we're actually in a situation where we've got a lot of it on our doorstep. And with the seasons changing so much at the moment, you know, we can get stuff out of season, which is interesting. We've just had literally English asparagus at this time of the year, a second crop. And we've had a look at that, we've used it. It's not been as good as we wanted it to be, but we've tried it. And I think that's the important thing. And we're supporting the local industry as well, aren't we, which is brilliant. And that, for me, is the most important thing, is to, to be able to support the local fishermen and the local veg growers to make sure that, you know, we're all in a really good position to keep the, the industry going, you know, which is important.